the land of no return. Went to the land of no return and I was glad we came back alive, fresh, nothing happened. And this part we are threading now, I want you to have something at the back of your mind. Imagine our forefathers, while they track this journey, they had chains on. A wise man is behind them with horse whip, whipping them, searing their flesh. Bloods are dripping on this path. Several years ago, the bloods of our forefathers were on this same path. So tread this path gently, please. Wow. So this sand I'm working on right now, I mean my ancestors bled on this sand. This is real. Like I'm working on the sand my ancestors walked on centuries ago. Their blood dripping on the sand. This is amazing. So that well then is known as the well of attenuation, which the falls all the slaves to drink water from. Yo, they would have trekked a certain distance, and by the time they get there, they give them that water. Let me tell you, by the time you drink that water as a slave, then you think probably they are doing you good, not knowing that they are undoing you. Because that's what that water has been charmed to make them lose their memories so that they will be active on the ship while voyaging to the Americas. But I felt it when they said they bring some African slaves to the well, give them water. I think that is a, that is a spiritual thing there. You selling your brother, you still take away his memory. Then you take him to, when they said a point of no return, I felt very bad. These are the things some of the slaves eat. It grows naturally here in Africa. It's not introduced one. So when the whites are not looking at them, these are some of the things they quickly eat to gain energies. And you can see here, that's the Nigerian flag, right? Yeah. You're out of Nigeria. Yeah. Then, yeah. then as a slave, when they get here, it's no man's land. Because once you cross here, you are going straight on the small ship. The ship will not take you to that big, uh, the small boat will not take you to that bigger uh, vessel anchored in the middle of the sea. Yeah.